today's lesson, we're following in our ecosystems. We've talked a lot about ecosystems. We've talked about biomes and relationships and how organisms interact. And we've talked about food chains and food web. So I'm gonna show you, we can get, fix our lights right here. And you can write this in your science journal. We're gonna start with something that looks like this. I'm gonna start with almost all energy starts with the what? The sun, the sun right? So energy, even in Indiana, starts with the sun. That's where the energy starts. But how does it get into the ecosystem? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the first step, it gives something that looks like this. Right here in your school, you have a tree called an, ape, uh, it's an oak tree. You just show me some of the leaves. An oak tree, so the energy goes from there to a tree. Does anybody know what we call a green plant that can soak up energy? What is it called in the lab? It's a, it's called a pro, producer. It can produce energy. Now I wish I was a producer. If I was a producer, I'm hungry right now, I would just go outside and put my hand out the window or outside and go, ah, thanks, I needed that. But I can't do that, why? I'm a consumer, I'm not a producer. I don't have chlorophyll, I'm not a plant. But in Indiana, oak trees make some nuts that are called acorns, right? So the energy goes from the sun to the tree to the nuts. Along comes a squirrel. Here's my picture of a squirrel. It may not be as good as yours. My squirrel's got a little hand right here, got a little leg. But a squirrel has a fluffy tail, right? <laughs> now the energy goes from the sun to the tree. The squirrel eats the nut and the energy is transferring. But the squirrel didn't produce that energy. The squirrel is a consumer. A consumer, right? Consumer. So the energy goes from the sun, producer, consumer. Oh no, that poor squirrel. <laughs> Along comes a. Uh, uh, a a bird. bird of prey, let's say a hawk. Yes, since we're in Indiana. Here comes a hawk with its sharp talons. And so that hawk is a secondary. What? Consumer. consumer. Secondary consumer. And the energy goes there. Now, one thing that a lot of people forget about this is when all these things die or their body parts or their wastes go into the ground, what's all happening down here from all these things? What? Uh, did you say fungi? They decompose. Decomposers, right. Decomposers. Now, Let's turn the light back on, decompose. Turn the light back on. And so I understand that you have a, 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 a joke about decomposers. So what is that joke? Who, who knows that joke? Tell me the joke, stand up. Tell, what's the joke? What's your name? Jorge. Jorge, what's, what is the joke about decomposers you know? Tell me. The mushroom, why does the mushroom Why does the mushroom get invited to every party? Why? Because he's a fun guy. Bada boom. <laughs> Good one. I like, I like that. Because he's a fun guy. I like that. So these are how decomposers go. Okay, so now you know a little bit about a food chain, but plants and animals take that energy and they use it differently. So let's going to divide the world into two things. Go ahead. So on this side, we have plants, right? And on this side, duh, we're going to have what? What? Animals. Animals. Okay. So plants get energy through a process called, anybody? Photo. Photo. Synthesis. Photo. Synthesis. Which means, photo means light, synthesis means to make. So they get their energy through photosynthesis. I wish I could some days, I would just put my hand out here in the sunlight and go, ah, thanks. But I can't, I'm not a plant, I'm an animal. And animals get their energy through something called cell respiration. Now that is a very complicated process, but we're gonna talk a little bit about each of these because it's important you know these. So in photosynthesis, 
this, you want to do that one first? Photosynthesis. Here's what we need. And I'll show you a video. We'll do, we're going to do some, some activities in Photosynthesis, a plant. A plant needs carbon dioxide, CO2. Everybody say carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Plus carbon dioxide plus H2O. What's H2O stand for? Water. Water. Carbon dioxide plus water. And then if you add light energy, you add light energy, if you add light, and one other thing, green chlorophyll. Can someone spell chlorophyll? It's on your page for me. Can you spell it? C H L O R O P L A S T. P L what? P L A S T. Those are chloroplasts. P H Y L L. L L. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll are the green parts of a plant. They're like little engines inside of a leaf or a plant. When you see green, you're seeing chloroplasts or chlorophyll. Okay? In your book, you see a great picture of them. So look, here's what happens. A plant takes in CO2 from the air. It takes in H2O through its roots. If there's light and chlorophyll, here's what it's gonna make. It's going to make sugar, which we call glucose, right? Yes. Sugar, and it's gonna have something left over and it's gonna have oxygen left over. Look at that. So it makes sugar and oxygen. That to me is amazing that a plant does that. Now, the animal is almost the opposite. An animal, for us to live, for me to live, this morning I ate some oatmeal and I took in a breath and that oatmeal now is in my body. I chewed it up, I added saliva to it, enzymes it's in my stomach more enzymes it's going through my intestine there's a floor all kind of critters in there breaking it all up i'm soaking it up in my veins it's turned to sugar but then how does it get inside of my cells i'm going to show you it's hard to understand but here it is so we need animals need o2 which is oxygen right plus the sugar from plants which we call glucose Okay, then when we eat that, all right, that will turn into energy, turn it, oh, we also need water, sorry, <laughs> no, we get water, that turns into energy plus CO2 plus H2O. So we actually give away water and CO2. Who needs water and CO2 in the world? The plants. And what do the plants give off? Sugar and oxygen. Who needs sugar and oxygen? Plus. So that's called a balance. So understanding both photosynthesis and cell respiration, it gets really complicated, but these are the main parts. And you need to study these because you belong on this planet. What happens when we got rid of all the plants? What would we no miss it? No oxygen. We will die. Yes, what if there's too much carbon dioxide? We're gonna have lots of plants. Yeah. It's a balancing act and we do it well. If you go to another planet, if you're missing one of these, you won't have life as we know it. So let's investigate this further with your student projects.